In a shocking turn of events, the ongoing tensions between Israel and Iran have escalated into a full-blown military confrontation. On April 14, 2024, Iran launched over 300 drones and missiles towards Israel in what appears to be a retaliation for an Israeli raid on the Iranian consulate in Syria earlier that month. This attack has sparked concerns about the potential for a wider regional conflict, with implications that could reverberate globally. According to reports, the attack commenced with Iran firing a barrage of drones and missiles from locations in Iran, Iraq, and Yemen, targeting various locations within Israel. The Israeli military claims that the vast majority of these projectiles were intercepted by their air defense systems, but some still managed to cause damage and casualties. One of the hardest hit areas was the Nevada Air Base, which was struck by at least 15 ballistic missiles. The extent of the damage to this military installation is still being assessed. Additionally, a seven-year-old girl from a Bedouin community near the town of Arad was critically injured and is currently in intensive care. The Iranian government has claimed responsibility for the attack, stating that it was a response to the recent Israeli raid on the Iranian consulate in Syria, which killed several people, including two IRGC generals. The Iranian commander-in-chief, Hossein Salami, has described the operation as a success that exceeded expectations, suggesting that Iran's military capabilities have significantly improved. The current escalation can be traced back to the long-standing tensions between Israel and Iran, which have been simmering for decades. These tensions have been exacerbated by a variety of factors, including the ongoing conflict in the Middle East, the unresolved Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and the regional power struggle between Iran and its regional rivals, such as Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. The specific trigger for the recent attack appears to be the Israeli raid on the Iranian consulate in Syria, which Iran has vowed to retaliate against. This raid was likely part of Israel's broader efforts to counter Iranian influence and military presence in the region particularly in Syria, where Iran has been supporting the Assad regime. Iran's decision to launch a large-scale attack on Israel is likely a calculated move to demonstrate its military capabilities and assert its regional influence. By striking targets within Israel, Iran is sending a message that it is willing and able to retaliate against perceived threats to its interests. The implications of the Iran-Israel conflict are far-reaching and could have significant consequences for the region and beyond. First and foremost, there is a serious risk of further escalation and the potential for a wider regional conflict. If the situation is not de-escalated and diplomacy does not prevail, the conflict could spiral out of control, drawing in other regional and international actors and potentially leading to a full-blown war. The impact on civilian populations in both Israel and Iran would be devastating. The strikes have already resulted in casualties, including a critically injured child, and any further escalation could lead to even more loss of life and widespread destruction. Moreover, the conflict could have significant economic and geopolitical consequences. The closure of airspaces in the region, as seen with the cancellation of some Emirates Airlines flights, could disrupt trade and travel, with ripple effects felt globally. Additionally, the involvement of the United States and other international powers could further complicate the situation and heighten tensions on the global stage. The conflict also has the potential to exacerbate existing tensions and conflicts in the region, such as the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Settler violence in the occupied West Bank has already increased in the aftermath of the Iran attack, underscoring the interconnectedness of these regional issues. The escalating conflict between Iran and Israel has raised the terrifying specter of a potential World War III scenario. The latest exchange of attacks, with Iran launching over 300 drones and missiles against Israel in retaliation for an Israeli strike on an Iranian consulate, has sent shockwaves through the international community. This series of events bears an eerie resemblance to the ominous predictions made by the 16th century French seer Nostradamus, who foresaw a catastrophic naval war unfolding in the year 2024. Nostradamus's chilling verses speak of the great ocean being filled with dread as a red adversary, widely interpreted as a reference to China. Some have speculated that this could be a harbinger of a confrontation between the United States, backed by its Western allies, and the China-Iran-Russia axis. The recent attacks in the Red Sea region, which have disrupted international trade in the vital oil industry, lend credence to the notion that Nostradamus's prophecies may be coming to fruition. The consequences of this spiraling conflict extend far beyond the immediate war zone. A full-blown war between Israel and Iran has the potential to draw in other major powers, igniting a global conflagration.
mission. The United States has already indicated its unwavering support for Israel, with President Biden pledging ironclad backing for any retaliatory measures. This sets the stage for a potentially disastrous escalation, as the U.S. could be drawn into direct confrontation with Iran and its regional proxies, like Hezbollah in Lebanon, and the Houthis in Yemen. Moreover, the involvement of Russia and China further complicates the geopolitical landscape. Both powers have deep ties with Iran and have condemned the Israeli strikes, raising the specter of a broader east-west divide. If this conflict were to metastasize into a global war, it could shatter the delicate balance of power, with catastrophic implications for the global economy, international stability, and the very fabric of the rules-based international order. The threat of World War III is not just hypothetical, it is a very real, and present danger. The scale and intensity of the attacks launched by Iran, coupled with the bellicose rhetoric and posturing of the various parties involved, suggests that the region is teetering on the brink of all-out war. The potential for miscalculation or unintended escalation is high, and the consequences could be truly devastating. The Biden administration's reported stance of not directly participating in offensive operations against Iran while offering public support for Israel could be a step in the right direction. By pushing back quietly while maintaining maintaining support for Israel. The U.S. may be able to play a constructive role in preventing further escalation. It is also essential that regional powers such as Jordan and Lebanon continue to keep their airspaces open and refrain from being drawn into the conflict. The call for restraint by the Jordanian government is a positive sign in this regard. Moreover, the international community as a whole must engage in active diplomacy to bring the parties to the negotiating table and find a peaceful resolution to the underlying tensions. This may involve reviving stalled efforts to resolve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, as well as addressing the regional power dynamics that have fueled the Iran-Israel rivalry. Beyond the immediate regional implications, the Iran-Israel conflict also has the potential to ignite a broader geopolitical confrontation. The involvement of global powers like the United States, Russia, and China adds an additional layer of complexity and risk to the situation. The United States, as a staunch ally of Israel, has already indicated its willingness to support Israel militarily if the situation escalates further. This could potentially draw the U.S. into a direct confrontation with Iran and its regional proxies, such as Hezbollah in Lebanon and the Houthis in Yemen. The Biden administration's reported stance of not participating in offensive operations against Iran may help to temper the situation, but the risk of unintended escalation remains high. Meanwhile, Russia and China have both expressed support for Iran and condemn the Israeli strikes. This alignment between Iran and the two global powers has the potential to exacerbate the broader geopolitical tensions between the West and the East. If the conflict were to escalate into a full-blown war, it could strain the already fragile relationships between the major powers, potentially leading to a larger-scale confrontation that could have devastating consequences for the global order. The specter of nuclear weapons also looms large in this conflict. Both Israel and Iran are believed to possess nuclear capabilities, and the potential for the use of these weapons, either intentionally or through miscalculation, cannot be ignored. The risk of a nuclear exchange would be catastrophic, not only for the immediate region, but for the entire world. As the world watches with bated breath, the imperative for cool-headed diplomacy and conflict resolution has never been more urgent. The international community must act swiftly and decisively to de-escalate the situation, lest the ghosts of World War past come roaring back to life. Failure to do so could unleash a chain reaction of events that could plunge the world into a maelstrom of destruction, fulfilling Nostradamus's dire prophecies and ushering in a new era of global conflict and upheaval. The stakes have never been higher and the world cannot afford to let this crisis spiral out of control. If you watch the video till here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this.